What's going on YouTube, Mr. 1013 here, and we're going over my top five G.I. Joe Club figure subscription 3.0 figures. Um, if you've seen my other videos, I did my top five from um, figure subscription one and two, and this is the third in the series of my top five. Um, again, as I always say, this is just my opinion, which figures I feel... Um, were the best in the line. Of course, I always want to hear your guys' opinion. Um, how your top five matches to my top five. Who would you like in your top five? Or who are your top five? And, um, you know, be sure to drop a comment. Uh, you know, drop it in the comments below on who your top five is. So, I'm going to get right into it. And first up, and um, this is like, again, going from five um, to one. One being the best. Okay? So, number five, Frostbite. This was pretty much called out. Um, again, I've done reviews on all these figures, did the single review, so be sure to check my channel out. Um, but this guy, new head sculpt, new chest piece, looks amazing from head to waist. These legs are really killing me. Um, they're not killing me. They're decent, but I wish they would have had a baggier look to them. You know what I'm saying? This 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 30th anniversary. Or more modern updated torso and arms. The headpiece looks great. And then you get these mediocre legs. Or out of date legs with the boots. Even the boots aren't really a problem. Um, but I wish you would have just got like a baggier look. If you just would have had the whole like almost. I don't know. Lifeline mode. Uh, pants. And and. Maybe through some knee caps or knee pads on, some different knee pads, some different lowers with the boots. I don't know how it would have worked out, how it would have looked. Um, this would have been a, a perfect figure. Uh, but this is this is my number five. I, like I said, I, I think he had a very nice head sculpt. Very dope. I like the texture in the hat and the, and the collar. Everything, all this looks amazing. They did a hell of a job sculpting it. But I just wish... Like his his bottom half was just a little bit bulkier since he's in the in the winter in the in the tundra the frozen tundra fighting off some cobras. But that's my number five frostbite. Now this this one was kind of hard list because figure subscription three point oh was <laughs> was again I think I want to say it was my favorite b b between out of all of them right now. Like I said, I haven't got four point on my hands yet. Based off of right now. I'm going to aim to say maybe one. I don't know, but not to even get in that debate right now. Okay, so number four. This was um, a tough decision. And as I'm standing here looking at these guys now. Uh, number four. Ah, Crimson Guard Immortal. And I might, see, I might switch this in the middle of this conversation. But <laughs> Crimson Guard Immortal. New head sculpt. Um... The gauntlets look amazing on this guy. The only thing, uh, the vest. If they would have been able to get a new, a more padded vest for this guy, just to get it a little closer to the original, it would have been a, a just a perfect figure. I see why they chose the Firefly vest. I see why they chose it to have, it was still bulky. But it, the original Crimson Garden Mortal had that padded kind of vest. And I think that would have just set it off. I know, you know, parts and all this other stuff costs new molds, all that riffraff or whatever. But, I mean, this new head sculpt just looks amazing. Again, though, Boss Fight being a part of this whole figure subscription, uh, helping these guys out to make this, this type of contribution is, is awesome. I mean, the paint detail, the, the Crimson Guard... Insignia looks really clean on there, real crisp. They did an amazing job again on this head sculpting on the paint apps and on this figure period. So Crimson Guard Immortal number four. Number three. Big Ben. Again, boss fight coming through with the head sculpt. I really like Big Ben. Again, crisp paint apps on a guy. Very accurate to the uh to the modern, and that's what I, I look at too. Um, how how accurate is this modern update to the original? Um, they added the Bluetooth on this guy. Like I said, the cap, the new head sculpt is good. Crisp paint apps. Um, 
very solid. Again, what the issue is with, with him, I, they just gave him a lot of stuff, though. I mean, this is a lot of bulk right here. You know what I mean? Um, if they could have had a different piece, I think these are actually two different gun belts on here. So if they would at least made one piece to go across, it would it would have fit a little bit better. It's like he's really bulky up in here. You know, then he has the satchel on the side. He's got a lot of going on. But again, the original figure had all the same stuff going on, but it was original figure, it was all one mode and it fit him a little bit better. Um so this just makes him look real top heavy. But I really like Big Ben. Uh the colors look amazing look look great on him. Very solid figure. I got excited when I seen this one, I'm not gonna lie. But there you have it, Big Ben, my number three. Let's keep it moving. All right, so it comes down to this. We know who's a part of the figure subscription 3.0. You guys probably already know who my number one is. Don't judge me. You already know how I feel about it. But this is a hard decision as well. And like I said, like like I was doing for my three, my, my three and four, I'm doing for my one and two. But my number two. It's gonna have to go to Bomb Strike. Amazing update, in my opinion, to the original Bomb Strike. I mean, gave her a new hair sculpt. Looks great. She has this attitude, you know, she has a face, has an attitude about her. She completed the Star Family from some figure subscription one. Um the only thing that would have just aced this whole figure. Now, a lot of people kind of grabbed it because she had the the Scarlet, you know, the um, the Renegade Scarlet body. We've seen it a few times already. Okay, we understand that. Female modes are scarce. But even if they would have just made her shirt a light brown instead of the black, or made the vest darker in a lighter brown shirt, or a darker brown shirt in a lighter vest. In my opinion, that would have been ace. That would have been perfect. That would have been the perfect update with the use of parts that they had with the new head sculpt. That would have been perfect. Besides that, the only other thing that was different is the um, original Bomb Strike had gray knee pads, and she obviously doesn't have knee pads, and the pattern is broken. It looked like they wanted to paint them gray. Because the pattern is broken on the pants between the kneecaps, but they didn't do it. Or, hell, maybe mine might even be a defect. I don't know. But <laughs> that looks like the only thing that those two things leave this character incomplete from being a perfect update, in my opinion. Amazing figure, like I said um, before in the review. I usually want, well, I hope, like later on. You can see the eyebrows when they use the blind. If they can just make it stand out, make the blind a little darker, or a, I guess you make it brighter to almost look like white or a bleach blind or something. But it almost kind of looks, it almost kind of falls together. Maybe it's just my light on here. But she looks good. This was, I was excited. I was very excited. It's always good to get fe new female characters as we're going to get the uh, mystery female character for the fourth. Uh, for the fourth figure subscription, but Bomb Strike, awesome update. I, I hope very soon we can produce some new um, parts for the women, for the female characters, so we can have more variety. Bomb Strike, my number two. And number one, you guys called it, you knew it. Slice. Perfect. I have nothing else to say about it. They, they, He's perfect. They did the the best update they can do with this figure. Even with the Dollar General Storm Shadow, Ninja Force Storm Shadow. That would have been perfect if they would have had the snowflakes on Storm Shadow. They didn't have the snowflakes on Storm Shadow. It was just white and black paint. They threw the Ninja Stars on the guy. Excuse me. Gave him a new head sculpt, which looks amazing articulation everywhere from wrists ankles just perfect that they, they, they did nothing wrong with this figure in my opinion 
You can't get any better than this. Again, when I when I seen that Slice was, I knew Slice was eventually coming because Dice came and figured subscription one one point oh. But when I seen Slice coming, I said, "Wait a minute." The 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 Photoshop mockup was perfect. If this is it, number one, I have nothing else to say. I did a review on the guy. Keep it moving. So, figure subscription 3.0 top five. Number one, slice. Number two, bomb strike. Number three, big Ben. Number four, Crimson Guard Immortal. Number five, Frostbite. Or it could be like this if I wanted to be because I'm still up in the air about those two. But these are my top five. I hope you guys enjoy. Be sure to leave your top five in the comments below. Look forward to more reviews and everything. Continue to like, share, and subscribe. I'll talk to you guys later. Peace.